All right, bro, so I started watching the Harry Potter movies last night because I haven't seen the entire series before. Now, I have seen the first one whenever I was a kid, and, like, I vaguely remembered bits and pieces, bro, but let me go ahead and jump into my list of things to call out, bro, because I'll tell you what I didn't remember. I didn't remember how much of a piece of shit they used to treat Harry like, bro. What the fuck? Hey, bro, what the hell is wrong with the Dursleys, bro? What is their problem, bro? Let me just go ahead and say it. The things that they do in the Harry, that borders child abuse, bro. Y'all know the scene where he pulling them by the hair? I'm like, bro, that's a kid. Uh, and their son is a bitch. Like, Harry is clearly the cooler of the two, bro. So why are y'all hating on Harry like this, bro? But then again, bro, look, there's two sides to every story. Now, I think kids can be scumbags, all right? Now, listen, whenever they went to the zoo, he told Harry, don't be on that funny business like you usually be. What has Harry been doing, bro? Somebody somebody tell me that. All right, next, bro, Hagrid is my favorite character so far. And that scene where he told old dude, don't you ever in your life say anything about Dumbledore while I'm in your presence. Hey, that was some cold-ass shit, bro. That, that, that's loyalty, and I can stand for that. Hey, bro, how don't humans know that wizards exist? That doesn't make sense to me. Now, somebody in the chat whenever we were watching said that they had a spell at the nine and three-fourths platform that stopped humans from seeing them. But fuck that. What about Harry's aunt? She's a bitch, and she knew that her sister was a wizard. Harry's mom was a wizard, so you mean to tell me that she didn't tell anybody about that? Come on now. You mean to tell me this evil-ass bitch ain't tell nobody that her sister was a witch? No, bro, she's a fucking hater. I know she told people. Hey, bro, how the fuck did Voldemort kill two adult wizards and then lose to a baby? That doesn't make sense. Like, it's not even hard to kill a baby. Not, I mean, well, y'all know what I mean. Like, I know the spell didn't work, but I mean, if you just, like, picked him up and dropped him from a high enough distance like that... Anyway, bro, hey, I took the little house test and it says that I'm in Gryffindor, but I feel in my heart that I would be in Slytherin, you know what I'm saying? But let, let me finish watching this shit first. Hey, bro, I'm about to get so mad, bro. That black kid's hairline is so unacceptable, bro. That that's that's gotta be racist, bro. Who did this to this kid, bro? They need they ass what, bro? That nigga hairline go loo, 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 loo. nigga. What the fuck is this, bro? Moving on, bro. Three kids beat a troll, but the adults were panicking. That doesn't make sense. Also, bro, since I'm on the topic, it doesn't seem appropriate for kids to be involved with any of this, bro. The Philosopher's Stone gives immortality. Nigga, immortality, bro? That's a big fucking deal. 11-year-olds should not be involved with this. Hey, also, bro, look, I'm not necessarily mad at Voldemort right now, okay? There's two sides to every story. I haven't heard his side. All I know is that he's trying to get immortality. And listen, I can get behind that. Immortality is kind of my thing. So y'all telling me Snape isn't evil? He a grown-ass man with a bob haircut and he's not evil? Yeah, bro, I'm not buying that. No way. Hey, Gryffindor winning does not seem fair at all. That shit seems staged in a bitch and my parents would have heard about it if I was in Slytherin. That's all I'm saying. Hey, what does Voldemort going through Harry at the end mean? What does that mean? Hey, Harry versus Voldemort gets a fade grade of a 3 out of a 10. Wasn't impressed with the fight at all. But I give the movie a 7.5 out of 10. It wasn't bad.